I am currently flying around trying to find if there's a space station in the system or not. There's gotta be one around here. Right? Cactus flesh, pure ferrite, pyrite. It's also like a moon. Is there seriously no space station on this? Do I like the tethering aim on the ships? I actually miss the old system better. It was a little bit less, um... Indistinct, maybe? This current system is kind of like... Oh, how do I even describe it? It takes getting used to. The other one you could pop in. Oh, you can change it. Really? Probably under controls. Nope, maybe general? You can change this. Oh, flight controls. Locked or tethered? So you can. Seriously, do we have a space station anywhere nearby? Huh. Oh. Okay, suddenly the tethering actually might be better. Because you kind of need ten You kinda of need the tethering to um Ugh. Yeah, okay, I I need the tethering. It's a lot harder to pilot your ship in third person without the tethering. Huh. So what do we want to do? I've got a lot of supplies. What I should probably do is just make a handful of these. What do I need to make more antimatter? Condensed carbon. Oh shit, I can make a bunch of this. Uh, I've just got to go contend some carbon somewhere. Unfortunately, I, I just don't see the space station here. I wanted to unlock the uh, space station so I could like warp to and from. But, uh, it is not seeming like it's particularly possible. Pulse engines. Tritium. I can always get more tritium freely. Is it possible to make a space station? Not yet. I would love it if you could. But, uh, as far as I know, that's not actually a, a thing. Someday, maybe. Yeah, overall, to repeat, seeing as people keep coming and going to ask about this. I really do actually like this, this, uh, new update. Alright, so if this one... I was really hoping I could warp out, but it didn't work. Okay, three ships. I should have enough salt. Yeah, my neural ducts apparently are quite valuable. Which I regret. Okay. Or Pugnium. There we go. Yeah, so these are pirates. Oh, crap. That pirate. That pirate melted. Pull off. I got plenty of sodium. I should probably get get some more while I'm on the uh, the planet. Damn, my, uh, my gun is garbage. But that's okay. I mean, this this thing really is supposed to be a, a boat for... 
other things. Okay, well, they're dead. Yeah, I'm not seeing a station here. We got two little moons to check out. Systems without a dominant life form listed have no station. Ah, huh, didn't know that. Let's see. Oh, hyperdrive has no fuel. Damn it. I made it. Or I made the stuff, but I never actually made the warp cells. Yeah, so we want to get more of that. Luckily, it looks like fuel's much easier to come by. Now. Okay, home base, journey start, and also friends. Got a green star over here. Ore extraction. Hmm. Scientific. Let's go to this one. Maybe? It's only got three planets on it. That's only got one. Gek. Engineering. Got... Four planets on it and one moon. Sure, let's check this one out. I don't actually know if uh, the colored stars are actually any better. I really like third person flight in this ship. Or maybe it's just this warp drive or something like that, but it's it's instead of the like multiple lines, it's just a lot of solid colors. Looks much better. Oh, hello. We just finished combat, but I can do another. Not use communicator in combat. Fair enough. There's what, two of them? That's not so bad. So this might be the uh, free freighter people are talking about. Hopefully it's a good one. There's the next one. Okay, looks like we got a couple. But I'm also sure, not sure entirely which ones are the bad ones. Okay, my gun's still overheating. Yeah, I gotta maybe consider getting a secondary gun system or something. Okay. How did teleporters work? Because yours won't work for some reason. Uh, teleporters are kind of random. Nope. I don't think that's an enemy. Unfortunately, I'm just kind of locking onto whatever. Oops. I gotta make sure I fight the, uh, the right one. Anyway, um... You actually have to progress the story just a little bit to get a to get a teleporter working. I was having this problem earlier. You have to warp twice uh, before you get the ability to use your uh, your base teleporter or the uh, the ones on the space stations. There we go. Is that it? Nope. There's one more. There's two more. Oh, it's one and two to cycle between targets. I gotcha. Well, this is comparatively fairly easy compared to everything else we've been doing so far. Or everything else we've been fighting so far. I don't know. I'm also getting a lot better at aiming at things. Part of it just involves not actually flying that much and just kind of setting myself as a stable, uh, stable defender. can't shoot near the uh, freighter, because if I do that, I get in trouble. What are you doing?
There we go. Is that it? Are we good? Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm... Identify yourself. You left me. Why did you... Tell them you are sorry. Don't lie to me. You... Even the others did not... Ask about the others. There's no reply. The communicator falls silent. Though the channel remains open. Anyway, I believe... We have a... We have a thankful freighter somewhere in the area. Usually. The space rescue. Talk to the, uh... Commander. Things are happening. Which freighter are we talking here? That one? Maybe it's this one. That's well, not a bad looking freighter. I mean, it's a bit of a block. But I will absolutely, uh... Oh, use the starship communicator. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think I think this is the right one. Okay, let's get away from this. I, it bugged out for a second. I think that's the right freighter. Don't leave on me. I'm just having trouble landing on you because you decided to give me a call. Yeah, so we had a plot call and then the hey free sh free freighter call probably. Hi. I'm like afraid to crash land into this thing because if I pissed it off, it would, it would go bad for me. What happens when you fly through planetary rings? Not much. It's just got asteroids in it. It's not very exciting. Okay. I wonder if you can put a... Does anybody know if you can put a teleporter on your freighter now? Because if I could put a teleporter on my freighter, I'd be real happy. Okay, there you are. Oh, you are not nearly as horrifying looking as I thought you would be over the phone. Okay. So we get a free freighter, potentially. 17 slots? It's mostly kind of garbo. Got the weird pregnant whale thing going on. Um, but I'm gonna grab it. I mean, just having a freighter helps. Inspect your fleet. Oh. I have a fleet? Now this is engaged warp drive. Galactic communication station. Oh! Oh! Hello! Raid a planetary depot. Kill eight monstrosities. Kill a sentinel walker. Okay, none of these are actually particularly helpful. Yet. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe the cryo pump is actually worth a bunch. Sentinel Walker is still kind of tough for me, though. And like these, that's kind of worth it. I'll grab that one because I'm gonna I'm gonna find these. Oh! Those are the multiplayer missions. Yeah, you're one of the lucky ones getting an S-Class freighter. I... Yeah, you are. I'm jealous. Okay, so we have trade fleet. Merchant vessel. Okay, fuel requirements. Tons. 34 successful encounters. Interesting. So I can send these things out on... On missions. Somehow. Yeah, 11 ton, tons per 250 light years. That shouldn't be a big deal. No recreation deck, buoyant. Huh. So trade is 18. 
Vision of the Ancients. That's cool. How do I tell it to do things? Speak with the freighter's navigator. Oh, plan and dispatch expeditions. Happy day, Captain Friend. We will begin many expeditions together, but first you must build a command fleet command room so that you may talk to your fleet as they sail. Navigator Omstar has prepared an expedition for my fleet, but my freighter lacks the fleet command room I need to maintain communications during the voyage. I see. Build a base inside your freighter. The construction area is located... Okay, in the back. This is interesting. Cannot build missing components. Oh. You know all that gold and silver that I was kind of poo-pooing? Turns out we need a shit ton of it. So let's go get let's go get a bunch. Uh however I leave. Can I Can I build stuff here? Oh, this whole area is customizable. Like, this entire section, with the exception of the staircase, I can customize that whole deck. Oh, that is so much better than it used to be. The whole top layer after the doors is the building area. Uh, quick question, though. Um, if I get a new freighter, does that, does that whole thing disappear? I guess I gotta double check some of these things. So this is a recruitable freighter. Okay, you seek new ships for your fleet, yes? My ship is the best. Happy crew, excellent guns, roomy hangar, you'll love it, friend. Inspect the frigate. Okay, so... I'm actually pretty close to being able to buy this sucker. It looks cool too, but I'm just a bit shy. We'll have to pick up more. <sighs> In fact, it actually looks like there's multiple freighters that you can recruit. Well, I'm just going to go over here and we're going to go get some silver and stuff. Yeah, so uh, you can have multiple freighters now, which is actually a really attractive prospect to me. Uh, I'm going to have to do some things, though. Yeah, it was a decent combat one, but I'm poor. We're going to... We're going to have to figure out how um, how fleet expeditions work. Because if it turns out they actually are, are one of the me main ways of making money, then I'm going to then I'm going to go hog wild on that one. For now, we've just got to get a lot of silver. A lot of silver and a lot of gold. It'd be nice if there's, like, a, a resource multiplier thing that you can slowly, like, upgrade. So you just get more. See, tiny ones for expeditions, right? Hell if I know. But we'll have to find out as we, as we go along. What I'm going to try and do is just pick up a crap ton of freighters. You get, like, five million a mission. Ooh, okay. How long do the missions take to, take to do? Because, yeah... If I could actually just leave the game running uh, while they go out and go on missions for me, that would be incredibly helpful. Better than me actively uh, farming for cash. Oh, they'll do it offline too. Cool. So if I just set like a timer, I could come back. How long do the missions take to take to do? I wonder if you can actually use Cheat Engine to speed it up as well. Or if it's based on like some kind of real world clock. It's 30 minutes plus. I've had a few over six hours so far. Huh. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just destroy a ton of asteroids. It'd be really nice if you could actually like really really get into like the fleet management thing 
it would be cool if I could send out, like, mining drones to just get, uh, a small amount of silver and gold, uh, per hour as well. Hey, thank you to Wolf Killer for the sub is, uh, for the sub. Welcome. Okay, is that enough? How much gold were you sitting on? Not nearly enough. Crap. Okay, maybe I should look for some of the bigger asteroids. It looks like I'm getting a, a bunch of tritium, but I'm not actually getting uh, a whole lot of gold from these. Well, there's more silver sort of here. Gonna take a while though. Yeah, I'll have to see about getting this sucker the mining laser. Oh yeah, uh did anybody answer? Can you put a can you put a portal on your freighter? Or no? Cause yeah, if you can put a uh, portal on your freighter. That would be awesome, because then I could just, like, warp to and from, uh, all of my bases. I really like the warp system in this game. I'm so glad that they, they had added that. Because, like, originally it was just like, well, here's all these, like, cool star systems that I'm never going to see again, and I'm never going to have the compunction to, like, really bother exploring. But now it's not so bad. I do actually hope they add, like, a map table and stuff uh, as something you can build. Because how rad would it be if you could actually... Uh, kind of keep track of, like, resource nodes and, like, a bunch of other things uh, in the immediate area of your base. You can summon the freighter, but you can't portal to it. That's a shame, because getting back up onto my freighter is kind of a pain. I guess we can, uh, we can quickly go, uh, check. What is this getting me gold? Okay, yeah. So go for the fat, go for the fat space turds for the uh, for the gold and silver. That's that's where most of it's located. That's it. You can space jump all in the freighter now. I think you could do that with the last uh, with the last patch too. I could be wrong. I'm glad you don't have to charge this thing. It's not the most efficient mining system, but it works. Yeah, the reason why uh, I want all the like automated drones or whatever is um, that's what uh, I had in Avorion, and that was that was kind of fun. The ability to uh, the ability to just kind of uh, just more or less program one of my ships to go out and mine for me. Let's see, do we really need this much gold? Yeah, we do. Each room required a fair amount, and so if I wanna, if I actually wanna like, customize my, my fleet room at all. Then I'm gonna need a fair amount of gold. I think this is enough, okay. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna make a quick, nah, let's, let's just head here. I wanna, I wanna send them out on a mission as soon as possible. This thing has terrible handling. I miss my old ship. Help, 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 help. Let me get in. Okay, there we go. We're good. Landing. Totally landing. Okay. Zoop. Don't question it. Okay, the spaceship shotgun is good for that. Oh, good to know. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to pick it up. Unfortunately, I've been mostly spending my nanites on movement speed upgrades for the player so I can zip. Because I want to go, I gotta go fast. Okay, right. Sorry, I gotta actually make the fleet command first. I? Oh, I can delete these.
Can't pick him up or anything, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of most of these decorations. They're neat, but I'm not terribly interested in them. Okay, I might hold on to these. If I remember it, some of them give you resources. Yeah, Gek Relics? I'll leave that. Okay, so we need... a fleet control room. I'll just put it here. What else can I make? Uh, let's see. So I can put my refinery down. I can put some farming down. Decorations. What other freighter components do we have? So we have rooms, corridors, corridors, junctions, stairs, cross junction. So it's nothing I can actually really work with yet. We'll deal with it later. So what do we got here? Calibrating command post to new master signature. Success. Master profile indicates one support frigate available. Profile indicates no frigate fuel blueprints available. Download. Download data. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Freighter. Transfer items. You can have my neural duct. I apparently have several of them. Hopefully it does, this doesn't mean they'll just go for my uh, my freighter. That'd be bad. Let's put in the marrow bulbs. I'm going to need them at a later date. Maybe all this pugnium too? Yeah. Pretty much anything I don't immediately have like a use for. Quad servos. I'm just going to hoard onto this sucker. I wonder if I can have multiple freighters uh, to pull from, like inventory-wise. That's an interesting question. I don't know. Okay, download data. Okay, so frigate fuel, dihydrogen, and tritium. I'm out of dihydrogen, but I have one. I'll have to. I'll have to get more. I like the tutorialization in this game. It's not bad. I was actually expecting a, a little bit more. What about that chromatic metal? Yeah, probably. Hello. Okay. So view potential expeditions. So we have... Combat patrol, balanced expedition, trade expedition, trade expedition, distance covered, tons of light years. Okay, so some will take a couple hours. Let's do the uh, difficulty too. So mission for fruitful discussions. Um, equip upgrade modules. Mind control device, holographic analyzer. Huh. Oh, but they're they're temp. Okay. So I can only assign this one. Oh, fleet ratings fleet ratings only one. So let's do this one instead. The Lost Cause. Launch Expedition. Should be fine. Required 50 tons. I've got that. Focus Trade. Launch. Alright, so that'll take an hour. And hopefully... Uh, hopefully I'll be able to buy some more freighters as I go by. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't. Oh, 50 tons. 100 tons. I can't stack more. So while we're at it... Nope, I don't want to make anything. I want to move over all of my... Maybe... Mainly my silver and gold. And honestly, yeah, you're right. Some of this chromatic metal. Let's see. Oh, and we did have some spare tritium that I can just store. I just want to get a lot of this out of my inventory while we eat around. Whoops. Because, yeah, the less I have to immediately carry, the better. Because <sighs> inventories get real full real fast. Bunch of, like, unstacked Mordite. And let's see, a little bit of tritium here. But I can, I believe I can actually just... Transfer stuff off of the freighter whenever I want. Yeah. Looks like you can. Or maybe I have to be on the freighter. Who knows?
but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna want to pick up a bunch of freighters because if I can just send them out on a silly amount of missions, that'll make my life easier. Oh, make contact at the fleet command room. So I've got to. I guess I've got to go do that. Uh. Oh, I see. Got to go a little bit further in. And up. I really wish they'd make that corridor slightly more visually distinct. It would make it a lot easier. Okay. So, Fleet Command Online. Calibrating to Fleet Commander Oklagagag of the DSV, the Vision of the Ancients. Speak with Commander. Greetings, Traveler Friend. The expedition has covered 190 light years, and I estimate our plot plotted route will take a further 55 minutes. All systems nominal. Spec ships. Okay. So we can just kind of watch this uh, watch this go. 